Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the SQL database coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start with the first video if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade here and databases. And then we left off. We were in this Time River Revisited. And we're doing the last one here, uh, number 42, Alarm Clocks. So you're developing an alarm clock app that works as follows. User can set a date and a time, and the app will ring every week at the given time starting at the given date until the end of the current year. The starting date is the only record in the user input table of the following structure. So you've got an input date and then the date and time of the first alarm. Given the table, your task is to compose the resulting table with a single column alarm date. This column should contain all dates, including time, uh, when the alarm clock will ring in an ascending order. So there's going to be an input table that just has the input date, uh, date and time that the user will uh, put into, and then the output would be starting at that date and adding a week uh, until the end of the year. So you can see uh, 1225. Uh, it's not anything after that because that would be into January of the next calendar year. All right, so how do we do this? Uh, so in the procedure, we're going to set a couple of, these are called session variables because they have one at symbol, they're a session variable. So these will stay current during the session. And then, uh, so this colon equals means we're setting that, uh, the initialization of that. Uh, so we're doing select input date. So there's only one date in here uh, from the user input. So it's just going to give you that date and put it into the date variable. And we're also going to set the, what's called, we're calling the initial to that date as well. And then we're just going to drop the table if it exists so it'll X out any data that already was existing. Uh, so if a user changes the date, we're not inserting uh, rows uh, in addition to the ones that were already there. So we're going to create the table alarm list. It's just going to have one field, alarm date, and it's going to be of the date time type. And we need uh, semicolons after all of these statements to, so the, the SQL engine knows that this is the end of the statement. And then we're going to do a while loop. So uh, MySQL has this handy function that will extract the year from a date. So we just do year at date. So the variable is the input date that was put in. And then the initial date is going to be stored uh, in this initial, and we're not going to update it so we know what the initial year was uh, for that input date. So while these two are equal, it's going to keep turning through this. And then once this date goes into the next calendar date, then it will end that loop. So we're going to insert into the uh, table that we just created, the alarm list. And we're going to insert into the alarm date field, which is the only field that it has. And in that field, we're going to select the at date, so the session variable that we created. So the first one's just going to be the, the input date that was put into the table. And then we're going to reset uh, the at date variable, and we're going to update that to uh, date plus uh, seven days. So interval, uh, so it's going to add seven days each time to the date that was in there before. So you can see it's just going to go from 10.23 to 10.30, etc. So each time it's going to change that date, it's going to check uh, whether the year of that new date is the same as the year of the initial date that we had. If it is, it's going to go through it again, insert a new line into the table, update the date again, and keep going until uh, we run into the next calendar year. And then we're going to end that loop, and then finally we're just going to pull this alarm date table that we created. So we're just going to select star from alarm list. So if we run that, You'll see that it worked. We can go to the second example. Um, so you can see the input date they're giving for this one is the 1st of January, uh, and that's the time. 
So the output, you need to start with that time, and you're going to add uh, seven days to each one until you get to the end of the year. And so that's what it does. All right, I hope you guys are able to follow along. This is the first time you're seeing the, the session variables. So I hope you guys were able to understand that. Otherwise, I hope you guys join me for future sessions. Thank you very much.